Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the validation rule and validation text properties in tandem. Now setting the validation rule property allows you to use the expression builder dialog box to create a specific condition that will only allow data entry that meets the specific condition in the field. For example, you could specify that field entries for a birth date field couldn't contain a future date. Now once the rule is in place, you simply type the error message that you want access to display when an entry does not meet the specified criteria into the validation text property. To set a validation rule on a selected field, you must enter an expression such as an Excel formula into the validation rule property. You can either type it into the box by hand or you can click the expression builder button that appears at the right end of the validation rule field to assist you in creating the rule. To use the expression builder, just click the property field and then click the small ellipsis button that appears at the right end. That will launch the expression builder where you can use the buttons and functions that are listed in the dialog box to create your validation rule. Then just click OK in the Expression Builder when you're finished to insert the rule that you created into the property field. So here we're saying that the date that's entered has to be less than or equal to now, meaning it can't be a future date. Then to set what error message the user will see when they enter a value that violates the validation rule, click into the validation text property and simply type the text that you wish to display into that box. At that point, if you wanted to see how it would look, like what you see, pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.